That is I. I am her. She is me. Okay, so I feel like I never go any grocery store, store, place by myself. And uh, my husband took my daughter to Costco, so I thought, oh my gosh, this is my time. This is my chance to run. So I did. Let me, ooh, let me grab the first bag. So this is from World Market. There's one like 15, 20 minutes away from me, not too, too far. And I only grabbed a couple of things but I did want to share since they are fall-ish. So let me start without with the not fall stuff. So I grabbed this. I love this chocolate uh, brand. They make like the little eggs, like the Kinder Joy eggs. Um, they also have a bunch of other stuff, a bunch of other types of cookies. This, my daughter really enjoys these and they're mini, so these would be, these would be the small ones. Coffee, I keep saying coffee because I need coffee. The chocolate is delicious. World Market, if you're not familiar. Okay, so World Market imports a lot of, like all kinds of stuff actually into there. I'm gonna put you up a little bit so that, probably not a great angle, but honestly it doesn't care. World Market imports a lot of food, um, like crafts, furniture, um, decor, dishware, cookware, glassware, like all kinds of stuff. So you can find anything from food, like ingredients to make food, like specific ingredients, like like a pasta sauce or a paste from all over. So they just import them from everywhere and they sell it at the store. So I don't know if I would say anything is discounted or anything like that. I mean, they have like a membership and that kind of stuff, but it's all relatively, I, I feel like it's the same price if I'd buy it here at my grocery store, like it's not cheaper, but I also don't think it's more expensive. I feel like it's about the same. So anyway. This is the first one, Kinder uh, Bueno. I really like these. These Those you can normally find in like a bar form at grocery stores. Um, and I just saw the minis and I know my daughter loves them. So I thought it'd be a cute little treat, especially because they're minis. So who doesn't like mini stuff? Next couple of things. These other things, you can you can get these at pr pretty much any grocery store, but I saw them there and they were like $4.99, five bucks each, no. Yeah, $4.99, and so I thought I'd grab them anyway. These are different curry simmer sauces. So one is the, is a, what is this one? This one is a tikka masala, and then this one is a butter chicken. So if you've never used a simmer sauce, you essentially put this over a protein of your choice, and um, you can add water. Some brands ask you to add water, some don't. Anyway, you basically pour this over some kind of protein, and vegetables of your choosing and you let it simmer basically to uh, cook it along with the chicken. Like you would pan uh, sear the like chicken breasts. Um, you don't have to necessarily cook them through but you just need to pan sear them and then you would pour this over along with other vegetables which I really like doing with like bell peppers, peas, green beans and I'll, I'll normal actually sometimes most of the time I add pineapple in it these are not special <laughs> I, I mean maybe the brand is but like simmer sauce is not special so i thought i'd give it a go this is probably i think it's normally like one jar for about a pound of meat so like a pound of chicken hold on one second sorry my husband called me rudely interrupted my presentation the last two things that i wanted to share were fall well one is autumn fallish and the other one is not but i've seen these everywhere let me just start by saying this if you are familiar with alex mojica and maison molly they're two two youtubers that make uh videos normally around some kind of a coffee there's my husband again if you're not familiar with them they're amazing two amazing channels i will link them down below because i've been watching them for i want to say years but really i think it's only been since Sometime during quarantine is when I started watching their both of their channels. Anyway, both of them have come to, both of them use um, the brand Monin for like their syrups, their coffee syrups. So like this is a little what five pack from um, World Market. I think it's $9.99 for these five different little packs. They are each 50 ml, so like almost two ounces of syrup each, but you really only need, these are like regular, 
These are not sugar free, so these are just like a, a regular syrup. And these, this one is the uh, coffee collection. So this is caramel, amaretto, hazelnut, Irish cream and vanilla. I wanted to try these or to try making like more lattes or just like fancier coffee drinks. And then they also came out with this Autumn Harvest, which is, you know, special edition for fall, fall collection. So this one is pumpkin pie, cinnamon bun, caramel apple butter, cranberry and brown butter toffee. I really actually wanted to try this caramel apple butter because of the Starbucks um, apple crisp ma macchiato that I tried, which was so good, but I wanted to see if I can recreate it and recreate it at home. I still, I actually went to home, what is this cheese? I actually went to World Market hoping I'd find a pistachio um, syrup from Monin, but they didn't have it. So I'll probably have to order it on Amazon. But anyway, I'm really excited to try both of these. I don't know which one I'm going to try today. I feel like I I want to try all of them, like want them all, but I can't do that. So on to Trader Joe's. Okay, I'm going to just show you everything here. This is the cold stuff. So it wasn't a huge haul, but I wanted to share what I did get. So I grabbed some of these um, dark cher frozen cherries. I got some waffles. My daughter really likes these. These silver dollar pancakes. Both of these are frozen, or all of this is frozen. So these three will go in the freezer. I got some of the light Mexican blend cheese as well as the light mozzarella cheese. I have started using this one a little bit more. I really love the flavor and I wanted a refill on this. And then the other, I don't know, beverages, I guess you could say, is this non-dairy oat beverage maple flavored. This I want to try specifically for coffees, just to see if I can give them like an added flavor along with those um, syrups that I got. And then I was out of almond milk, so I grabbed this one, unsweetened vanilla. And then I never really have whipped cream, so I saw this one and just decided to grab it. So yeah, this is all of the cold stuff. Let me put this away and grab the non-refrigerated stuff. All right, this is the other half of my haul. Again, not a huge haul, but I don't, typically get a ton of stuff at Trader Joe's. I normally will get just kind of odds and ends that I need for like ingredients for meals um, or I'll be honest, or snacks. I love Trader Joe's for their ability to have every snack available that I could ever want and I love it. For this haul, I did grab a couple of items in the produce section. So I got these rave Apples. I only grabbed three of them because I just wanted to try them out. I got a couple of delicata squashes. These are very well known in the Weight Watchers community. So, or maybe weight loss community if you're not familiar with them. Um, they are so delicious, like sliced up. You can really cook them in so many different ways. I love to roast them with just like salt and pepper and then have them as a side item. They're, they are just delicious. So I know it's gonna be fall and winter when these start coming out in Trader Joe's because these are like oh, one of my favorite 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 side items so I get them every year and try I try to get as many as I can so I'm gonna make more trips and probably going to get I don't know why the sticker is not sticking I'm probably gonna end up getting like another five or ten more like next week because I just love these so much throughout the entire winter season I'll eat these um, and I'll, I'll maybe see if I can I don't know add them into other dishes. Anyway, these are delicious. Sorry to like harp on them so much. They're super good. If you've never tried them, please just grab one. Try them roasted in the oven. Um, I think there's even instructions here. So it makes it super easy. All right. I did grab a cucumber. These are my favorite kind. These English cucumbers that come wrapped individually. I prefer these. Um, I don't know. Call me bougie, picky, whatever. These are my favorite. I don't like to get the any other cucumber <laughs> if I can possibly help it. I grabbed these little potatoes for side items this week. I was actually thinking about the uh, curry sauce with veggies and then I'll probably add some other vegetables. I grabbed this queso dip. 
I've, I don't think I've ever tried it, but I grabbed it because I was watching, I think it's Nikki Gets Fit. I was watching her videos earlier today and she was talking about Weight Watchers staples or WW staples, whatever. And I decided to grab some to, I don't know, to give it a try to try it this week. Hopefully my husband doesn't eat all of it. <laughs> pray pray all right speaking of my husband and my daughter i grabbed these for them this looks like a zombie he loves pringles and these are kind of like their version i think of pringles and then i know she loved these last year all right so that is it thanks for coming along to this quick super quick little haul that i decided to do last minute uh, like i mentioned before my husband and my daughter left and i'm never alone so I ran for the hills or for Trader Joe's, which is like, I feel like a normal place to go to. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here supporting the channel. Um, I am still trying to figure out what I am doing. Sorry, this is noisy. Figuring out what I'm doing with my life. I am following the WW Boo plan. So I have rejoined Weight Watchers. I know I mentioned that a couple of videos back and I didn't post any uh, points values to any of this stuff because um, when I shop I, I I try to keep some points values in mind um, but I'm not going to let it completely deter me unless I know it is you know like a I don't know super oh my hands are dirty look at how dirty my hands are probably from the delicata squash so I I I haven't posted it. I haven't posted any of the points values because I, well, it's such a small haul to begin with. I just, I don't know. I will post it if I am doing like a video of like what I'm eating in a day. But for the most part, I mean like fruits and veggies are all zero points anyway. But um, I, again, wanted to make sure that I, you know, I incorporate that my journey on the channel, but it isn't my entire life you know i i i just don't want it to become like this is just a weight watchers channel because it isn't this is a this is griselda's channel i'm griselda that is i i am her she is me while i am on a journey i want to be healthier and i want to make better choices i want to make sure that i am mindful of serving sizes i also love like you know like a chocolate treat I said I wasn't gonna talk about point values, but here I am talking about it. Anyway, I just want, I, I want to be able to share that you can eat good food and not have it be overly processed, only sugar-free or super low calorie to enjoy it because that is just not the life that I wanna live. So I'm gonna have good food, maybe healthier versions, maybe smaller portions because that's probably my biggest fault. Anyway, all of that to say, I'm like going on a super rant and I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping any of that in here in the video. I don't know what I'm doing yet with this channel. I'm still, I'm gonna keep making videos that I like. I do wanna share the foods that I am eating. I do wanna share the fact that I'm on WW. I'm on the blue plan and I am on a journey to lose weight and get healthier and just feel like a strong ass person. That's it. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna work towards getting there. And that's it. Have a great day. Today's Saturday. I don't know what day you're watching this. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for being here. I think I'm gonna change my nails again. We'll talk about that later. Okay, bye. Hi again. I don't think you expected another unboxing. Anyway, I just got a, an order from Kira Sky. Okay, so I just got this order from Kira Sky. I ordered it, I think on a week ago. I think I ordered it last Sunday. Oh my gosh, these peanut things. This is pretty, this packaging is very pretty. And I ordered several things. Oh, I got a free hand sanitizer. I see. Oh my God, look at it, it's so pretty. I'm unboxing in my kitchen, I know. I never leave the kitchen. Um, let's see. I know I've been talking about my nails a lot and I know I have the O'Hara, Hora, sorry, O'Hara nails, but I was interested in these jelly tips by Kira Sky. Oh, I'm sorry, this is so loud. But I did grab the starter kit and a couple of extra things. So these are the extras. The extras are these um, nail, they're like nail art um, 
I don't know polishes and I got a black and a white and they are just like the super long um thin kind of uh can you see super long thin brush for art so I grabbed those two just one black and one white I'll show you actually let me just take them both out so I got one black and one white and then and then I did get an extra set of tips these are the short coffin tips again this is to be used with the jelly tip like kit where you have the um, gel builder in a bottle I'm not gonna open these yet though but I did get that size actually I'll just keep it out of the bag and then the kit comes with the cute little lamp so this little lamp that you've probably seen everywhere sorry lighting is garbage right now I'm, I'm gonna apologize right now but this is the lamp where you basically like tap it and it opens up i got I, I don't know if you've seen the video where i did my hands i did my nails with the 20 dollars beetles version on from amazon so this i'm excited to compare the difference between the two if they are any different at all or if they're the same and i just spent money on something that was the same but we'll see hopefully not hopefully it's a little bit better and then this is the kit itself so this is super cute this packaging very pink very ooh, very cute so this comes with the nail tips and then the different um parts of the gel nail tip system so it has like the prep the prime builder and then a top coat all by kira sky and i ordered the almond short nails i have really short if you see my hands i have really short small nail beds so i am curious to see if these are actually short or are these gonna be like a medium size for me which means they'll be too long which means i'm gonna have to do a lot of work to cut them down but i i just really wanted to try the jelly tips so I grabbed them. Anyway, that is the quick unpacking of this. Again, I'm still home alone, so I am going to quickly put everything away before my husband and my daughter get home so that it's not like I'm not having to deal with this and they're chasing me around the house. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.